Hello guys, welcome back to the another new episode for Redmi Note 5 Pro. And in this video, I will tell you how you guys can install global stable beta ROM for Redmi Note 5 Pro. That is based on Android 8.1 Mio 9 on the top. And in the end, we will test some its new features like dual 4G and iPhone X gestures. And we will also do some benchmark test and some camera test. So before we start, my name is Emi and you are watching Android Power. So in order to install Android 8.1 Beta ROM on your Redmi Note 5 Pro, your bootloader should be unlocked and you need to install custom recovery on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. If you don't know what is that, check the links in description box. And now you need to download some files to flash global stable beta ROM for Redmi Note 5 Pro. The first one is global stable beta zip, the second one is lazy flasher zip and the third one is magic zip if you want root. After downloading, you need to save these zip files in your internal storage or your SD card on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now you need to go into recovery mode. To go into recovery mode, just switch off your device then hold the power button and volume up button together for few seconds until you see a TWRP logo. Now we are in TWRP recovery. The first step you need to do in TWRP recovery is that to make a backup of your current ROM and data. I have already made a backup so I am skipping these steps. Now go back to recovery and go to the wipe then advanced wipe then click on cache, Delvic system and data then swipe to wipe and it will wipe your system and data. Now go back to recovery and hit the install button and navigate the zip files that you have downloaded earlier. Just select the Mio 9 global stable beta ROM and now select the lazy flasher zip with it and swipe to confirm flash and one thing to remember don't tick on reboot after installation on recovery just simply you need to install these two zip files and now the problem is when you will install the Mio 9 ROM for Redmi Note 5 Pro your TWRP recovery will be replaced with stock recovery so in order to avoid that you need to install recovery in TWRP recovery now again click on install and then click on install the image now select the TWRP image file and install as recovery swipe to confirm flash now you have successfully installed TWRP recovery on Mio 9 and if you guys want root just don't flash the magic strip along with ROM you will end it up with black screen let the ROM boot and after first root you can flash the magic strip in TWRP recovery as a normal zip so I have successfully booted up into the ROM and I have set up all the things. Now go into the settings to check the Android version. And as you can see it is on Android 8.1. Now it's time to check its new features like dual 4G and iPhone X gestures. And in my testing I have tested the dual 4G and dual vault and I have tested it with my two Geo sims and I can say it's not working as of now. You guys can enable dual 4G and dual vault on both 4G sims but the feature is broken and hope some developers make it work soon and if we talk about the iPhone X gestures those gestures are working perfect. I have tested these gestures in my daily day to day usage and I can say the gestures are working perfectly there is no lag at all and the gestures are very smooth and also the ROM is working fine, the dialer app opens up fast, the browser is working fast and other apps are also working good, there is no lag at all. And in the camera app, you can zoom the object up to two times, you can use the telephoto lens in stock camera app. And also the camera performance on this ROM is also good and in terms of battery life, the ROM feels super fine. And if we talk about the Antutu benchmark score, the score is 68593 and if we talk about the Geekbench score for single CPU that is 1344 and the multi-core score is 4861 and that's it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed my work please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel this is AK and I am signing off bye bye